part two of the Mid-Suffolk footpath begins by following the road through the length of Thorndon. A path is picked up through vast open countryside to Stoke Ash before crossing the A140 main road and following a narrow lane opposite past Colsey Wood. A turn left crosses the open field and heads south past the tiny village of Thwaite and eventually on to Mendlesham with the chance to stock up on supplies at the village shop. Continuing south out of the village and past Mendlesham Green, the route remains rural by following paths and quiet country lanes to cross the railway line and arrive in the town of Stoke Market. Heading along the main road through Thorndon, after topping up on supplies if needed, leads to a path along a fence and eventually through a lovely short section of woodland, with the opportunity to hear and see plenty of the bird species, including woodpeckers. The tiny village of Stoke Ash is skirted on the south side, which leads the walker to the A140 main road. This road is actually the line of an ancient Roman road, which ran north-south from Caste to St Edmund near Norwich to Colchester. The road itself is crossed, and the narrow lane on the other side is followed to Colsey Wood, which is also the site of a medieval moat. Thwaite is the next village encountered and the last one before Mendelsham. Located just off the route is the Walnut Tree, a vegan and vegetarian pub by the A140, but sadly there are no other facilities in Thwaite. The Church of St George sits right along the trail and dates as far back as 1200. Other than Stowe Market at the end of the trail, Mendlesham is the largest settlement encountered since I. There's a shop here, pub, local fish and chips and a beautiful parish church to enjoy. It's worth noting that there are no more facilities along the walk until Stowe Market at the end unless you take a detour into Stowe Upland.
Heading south out of the village, there's about a mile of country lane walking before you arrive at Tan Office Farmhouse. The farmhouse is beautiful and dates back to the 16th or 17th century. Mendlesham Green is quickly reached after passing Town Office Farm and surprisingly large for a village with no pub or shop. The route heads through a series of livestock paddocks to pick up a track that heads northwest along Old Hundred Lane. Once on the road, a turn left joins a narrow lane which is followed for several miles. The lane sits on the southern ridge of the Gipping Valley and has some lovely views to the north over Old Newton. One feature along this lane that has not been encountered yet is a World War II pillbox. This one clearly built to watch over the Gipping Valley to the northwest as the river was navigable up to Stowe Market. The River Gipping is eventually joined at the bottom of a hill with a chance to see its gently flowing waters as it meanders its way to the coast at Ipswich. It is possible to link this trail up with a 17 mile long Gipping Valley River walk to create a lovely 38 mile long walk that can be completed over 3 or 4 days.
The Mid-Suffolk footpath briefly joins a busier stretch of road along the B1113, but once the railway line is reached, the path crosses it to a quiet lane on the other side. From here, the path crosses livestock fields to the official end of the walk at the entrance to Stowe Market. If you're enjoying this video then please hit the like and subscribe button and ring the bell to keep up to date. And if you'd like more information just leave a comment below.